What is going on guys, Dave from Wake Up It's Football, bringing you guys another draft profile today. It is Jimmy Garoppolo, the quarterback out of Eastern Illinois. And uh, just remember, a lot of draft stock will shift from now until the NFL draft, so keep in mind when this video is made. Shout out to uh, Draft Breakdown for the highlights in this video. So let's get right into this one. Again, Jimmy Garoppolo, quarterback out of Eastern Illinois, 6'2", 222 pounds, some collegiate stats. He's played in 45 games with a total completion percentage of 62.8. 13,156 yards, 118 touchdowns, and 51 interceptions. Now, a couple of things you might want to know about Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, he's the All-OVC second team in 2012, All-OVC first team in 2013, 2013 OVC Offensive Player of the Year, and 2013 Walter Payton Award. Um, so he's, he's gotten some high praise uh, at the collegiate level when it comes to playing football. Now, some pros, uh, first of all, his release and I think that's one thing you're always going to hear about Garoppolo going into this draft process um, when you hear his evaluations his release is the first thing that jumps out at you he can get the ball out right away to his receivers so that's something that is crucial when you're trying to you know make that next step up into the NFL getting rid of the ball getting it out of your hands as soon as you can because windows are going to be tighter coverage is going to be tighter in the NFL the game is played faster so you got to get the ball where it needs to be as soon as possible. He can do that. He's got active feet. When he's in the pocket, he's got he's just standing in place, standing in place. But you got to watch his feet. You got to watch his feet. It's something that you can't be flat-footed as a quarterback. Uh, I don't think Garoppolo's flat-footed. He's the opposite. Fade route. I think he throws the prettiest fade route that I've seen out of some of these quarterbacks that I've watched, including. Uh, you know, Teddy Bridgewater, uh, Blake Bortles. I think Garoppolo throws the best fade route, um, and it's just pretty. Yeah, you just look at it, you're like, wow, you know. So Garoppolo fade route there is is a pro decision making. He likes to throw the ball away when nothing is open to him. Um, if he if he just has no idea what to do, nobody's open, he gets rid of the ball. That's smart. Don't force it. Don't throw an interception. That's something you look in quarterbacks as well. Decision making um, or, or throwing the ball away makes up that you know decision making there. So I think that is also a pro. Now, cons. I think his running ability um, is average. I think if he needs to make a play where he has to run out of the pocket and make a run, he can do that. But at the same time, there I did notice there were a couple of times where he looked like a deer in headlights. He would stutter around, wouldn't know where to go, and he would just fall over. So I, I he, he's not a running quarterback. Primarily, he would be used as a pocket passer. His accuracy, I've listed it as a pro and as a con. There are many times where he had the ball right on the money, and there were you know there were some times where the ball really just it, it didn't look like it was thrown well. So I think his accuracy. His, I, I don't know if I want to label it as inconsistent, but I think he could be labeled as a pro and a con at the same time. If you want to call it inconsistent, sure, why not? Um, opposing talent. Uh, there were times where I'd watch, you know, some of the teams that he, Garoppolo would play against, and I felt as if I was watching it a little bit in slow motion. I mean, obviously, he wasn't playing against Alabama and LSU. You know, he's playing against teams like Tennessee State and UT Martin. So. Um, in, in that respect, I felt as if you know he took advantage of his opposition. He, he definitely uh, lit up the scoreboards at Eastern Illinois. So um, headed into the NFL, y you have to realize that you're going to be playing better talent. But with all of that being said, I have my first bold prediction. I'm saying Jimmy Garoppolo will be a second-round quarterback um, in this draft. And, and I, I can see a lot of hype already in this Senior Bowl. Um, A.J. McCarron pulled out. They bring in Jimmy Garoppolo, and he's getting some high praise right now. But I'm making a bold prediction. I'm saying he could be a second rounder. This, this, this is a quarterback we could see going to a team that doesn't take a shot on a quarterback in the first round and takes a shot on a quarterback in the second round. So with that being said, I have him in that 33-52 to 52 range. That 52nd pick in the, in the second round would be Arizona. And uh, I have him going to one of those seven teams, you know, a, a team that doesn't pull the trigger on a quarterback in the first round and, and goes with uh, Grapple in the second. Perhaps if a team absolutely gets ridiculously desperate, they take him in the first, but I doubt that. I'm saying second rounder. I'm saying Garoppolo is going to be an up-and-coming guy that you're going to hear about a little bit more in the following months. I would be surprised if he kind of falls off and heads into the fifth, sixth, or seventh round. 
I think we could see Garoppolo making that second round type of type of area, maybe third. But that's my bold prediction. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Throw your comments down below on Garoppolo. Um, comments, questions, concerns, all that good stuff. But that, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm out.